Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this session, I am going to discuss the scheme and solution for model question paper 1, which has been effect from 2022 for the first semester BE degree examination of the subject title Mathematics for Electrical and Electronics Engineering Stream 1 with subject code BMAT E101. This has been changed now to BMAT E101. So as I have discussed uh, earlier, the scheme and solution for module 1, module 2 and module 3. So I am going to give the solution for module 4 later. Now I am going to take uh, the solution for module 5. So I will be discussing an easiest module which, which can be easily score 20 out of 20 in this module that is called as linear algebra. So let us go with the solution module 5 number 9a find the rank of the matrix so you require to find the rank of the given matrix what is the rank you should know that uh, for this part i have explained uh, the full concept in my previous video you can refer my previous videos for this module so if you have any doubts apart from uh, uh, that video uh, including this uh, solution of uh, model question paper you can put a comment in this video I will clear all your doubts. So here, moving on to the solution, consider the uh, consider the given matrix. You require to find the rank here. Always leading entry should be non-zero. Retaining this and remaining the below entry should be zero. That is the concept of uh, first step here. You require to make the leading entry as non-zero and below entry should be zero. So applying a row reduced a row reduced echelon form here row reduced echelon form means so making the leading entry as one and below the entries as zero. So for row reduced form you require to use only a row operation. We are using that row operation. I'm applying here R1 changes to R2 since here we have in the leading term we have two year and below term is one year. So that for that reason I will interchange the second row to first row and first row to second row that is what I am doing here. So throughout this row this whole row will be changed and I have been inserted the first row to second row. Then I will make these elements as 0 by using R1. By keeping the element R1 as constant I will make these elements as 0. So for that reason I am applying R2 as R2 minus 2 times of R1, R3 as R3 minus 3 times of R1, R4 as R4 minus 3 times of R1. So applying that and all the elements will be affected here. All these elements will be affected. This is what new matrix I have been got. Now the next step is consider the leading entry the second row second element will be leading entry make the below entries as zero and one more thing you can observe here all the rows are zero here you can first interchange r3 with r4 and you can apply the operation that is another method so here directly i went with the r4 operation r4 i will apply make this term as zero so therefore r4 changes to r4 minus two times uh, minus r2 so as we have same value with the uh, same sign just subtract these two values that will be 0. So that is what we have done and all the elements of fourth row will be 0. Therefore the rank will be nothing but the number of non-zero rows is nothing but rank. You are required to find out the number of non-zero rows here this row first row is non-zero and second row is non-zero. So therefore the rank of this matrix is, is 2. Therefore, the rank of this matrix is what? 2. So, this is the procedure of solving rank. So, compulsory one problem will be there on rank. Moving on to question number 9b. Solve the system of equation by using Gauss-Jordan method. So, they are going to provide uh, the system of equation. You are required to solve this problem by Jordan method. Jordan method is nothing but a method. We require to reduce the given matrix to diagonal form. And so the given matrix means we are going to consider the system of equation to an matrix form. So consider the augmented matrix A is to B is called as augmented matrix. How to frame this augmented matrix means 
write down the coefficients of x, y, z and constant term. B is a constant matrix that is 10, 19 and 22. B is what? B is nothing but um, column matrix 10, 19 and 22. So what is matrix A? Matrix A is nothing but the coefficients of x, y, z. From first equation, the coefficient of x, y, z is 1, 1, 1. From second equation, it is 2, minus 1, 3. And third equation, 1, 2, 3. This is what the matrix A. So combining these two, that will be an augmented matrix. That is what I have implemented. Now make these two elements as 0 by using R1. So that is what I have done here and make this element as 0 by using R1. So that is what the operation I have considered. R2 changes to R2 minus 2 times of R1 and R3 changes to R3 minus R1. So this is what new matrix we have got. Now make these two elements as 0 using R2. So using R2 I have made these two values as 0. I have made these two values as 0. This is what the operation I have considered. So now finally make these two elements as 0 by using R4. So that is what I have done. That is R3. Make these two elements as 0 using R3. So I have got the matrix, uh, I augmented matrix as this. So therefore again multiply by x, this value by x and this value by z and this value by, uh, this value by a, y and this value by z. Similarly go with second equation, third equation. I am going to get the system of equation as 21x equal to 63 minus 21y equal to uh, minus 42 7z equal to 35. Simplifying this I am going to get x value as 3, y value as 2 and z value as 5. So this is the required solution for the system of equation by using cos Jordan method. Let us see next problem. Moving on to question number 9c, using Rayleigh's power method, find the dominant eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector for the matrix A by taking 1, 0, 0 transpose as initial eigenvector. On this method, I have solved a problem separately. You can go through that uh, video and easily I have given uh, the explanation and uh, shortcut method by using a calculator. How to solve this problem, I have explained. You can go through that video and if you have any doubts regarding that you can put a comment so just i have considered the matrix a and i have multiplied that matrix uh, with initial vector and i am going to get an column matrix from that column matrix i am going to choose the highest value that is eigen value so that is the largest eigen value and the corresponding eigen vector so similarly i have went with the uh, iteration until i uh, until uh, unless i got uh, the same approximation when I compare with the previous iterations. So we are, we are going to solve that problem. So this is the method of uh, solving by realized power method. Moving on to question number 10a. Find the rank of the matrix. I explained you how to solve the rank of the matrix. So for this problem we are going to get uh, the rank as 2. As we have 2 uh, rows as non-zero rows we are going to get the rank as 2. Question number 10b. Uh, solve the uh, problem by consistency. Uh, for what values of lambda and mu, the given system of equation has no solution, unique solution, infinitely, infinite number of solution. Consider the given system of equation in terms of augmented matrix. I have explained you how to write the augmented matrix. Write down the augmented matrix. Then solve the problem by uh, row reduce uh, elementary operation. So making uh, the below entries as uh, 0, so uh, by using R1 I have made the below entries as 0, then making uh, this element uh, as 0 by using R2. So after uh, 3 operations, now I am going to find out for what values of lambda and mu we are going to have no solution. So no solution will be possible if and only if we have rank is not equal to rank of augment matrix. What is rank A means you are required to observe only these terms that is what rank A. Rank of augmented matrix means throughout oh, oh. rank of augmented matrix is nothing but this whole matrix augmented matrix. So 
for no solution rank a is not equal to rank of augment matrix if lambda is equal to 3 then rank will be rank of a will be 2 and if uh, mu is not equal to 10 then we say that rank of augmented matrix will be 3 so for lambda equal to 3 and mu is not equal to 10 we are going to have no solution so hence we can give the conclusion as uh, the system has no solution if lambda is equal to 3 and mu equal mu is not equal to 10 so for unique solution we are going to have rank a is equal to rank of augment matrix for that reason we required lambda is not equal to 3 so it is only possible if lambda is not equal to 3 for infinitely many solution rank a will be equal to rank of augment matrix so here the value of that will be k which should be less than number of unknowns so it is only possible if lambda is equal to 3 and uh, mu equal to 10 we can say that uh, rank a is equal to 10 uh, rank a equal to 2 and rank of augment matrix equal to 2 therefore we we are going to get infinite number of solutions moving on to question number 10 c so solve the system of equation by using gauss seidel method with the initial approximation as uh, 0 0 0 as carry out 3 4 iterations so i have explained this uh, problem in the previous video means i have explained this concept in uh, my previous video you can refer that uh, video and also mainly i have given a shortcut method by using uh, calculator first of all we require to find out the given system of equation is diagonally dominant or not so after identification of diagonally dominant we are going to express uh, the given equation in terms of x y z i have expressed that then i am going to uh, start with the iteration by using the initial approximation as 0 0 0 for x y z so we start with the initial approximation considering x equal to 0 y equal to 0 z equal to 0 so this is what a uh, first approximation we have got second approximation third approximation so this is what uh, the fourth approximation i have got so this is x4 y4 and z4 so finally i got uh, the uh, the required result as x equal to 1 y equal to minus 1 z equal to 1 is the required solution for the given system of equation by gauss seidel method so this is the way to solve uh, the linear algebra problems so i have explained all the uh, problems uh, which comes under model question paper 1 so if you have any doubts regarding model uh, regarding model question paper you can put a comment and if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and press like button thank you all for watching this video